Well, this is what I came out to see this morning. Flipped out the window. Looks like one of my reeds fell down. Is the other one still up there? Still up there. That one's still there. We just freshly lost this one, so let's grab this one. Decent size. Take it inside. It's 8.30 a.m. in the morning. It's 85 degrees. And it's supposed to be 110 today. Usually when they say that, I add about four to five degrees and you get the actual temperature out here. So we're gonna build a shade structure to go over an in-ground tree using materials I have here and a couple pieces of wood I bought at uh, the store. So we'll come back and take a look at that. So I went over to the uh, old uh, Harbor Freight store. Gonna use some wood and stuff I got laying around the house. Some screws I got. Let's see if we can put something together. Uh, I got a nice black tarp, like I said, from Harbor Freight. We're gonna build a structure over the trees out there. Keep them off direct sunlight for the mid hours of the day. Let's show you how we're gonna do this real quick. So what I've done is just taken some scrap wood I got, drill a hole through it, attach it to the bottom of this two by two. And that's gonna go into a bucket with some of these hooks on the top that I will hook the uh, black uh, shade cloth to, and then we'll build us a structure that's approximately eight feet tall and that we can move around. And let's show you how we install that. I'm also gonna put another piece of wood going across here to stabilize it in the bucket, using rock to fill the bucket. And we'll show you that shortly. But here's just the stuff we're using, stuff I had laying around the house. So here's what I'm going for. And that'll go inside of a bucket. We'll fill it with rocks. We'll put our little hooks on the top, or I have hooks and I have uh, eye bolts. So we'll see which one I like the best. And we'll finish up these three, and then we'll go out and show you how we're going to do this, protect our trees. Well, you can now see the method to my madness here. Just gonna fill up the buckets with the rock that I got around here. Eye hooks up there, trees right here, lots of fruit on it. I'm gonna protect it as much as I can using the stuff I have around the house. So let's fill these up, then we'll lay out the tarp and put it up after. Well, I used an old basketball that I had that didn't hold air, ran another post up the middle temporarily here with just uh, some grips and now I got myself a nice I want to say about a 70% shade cloth here it'll keep the little avocaditos safe through the uh, heat here you can see we got a great fruit set on this tree three of them there all over the place so Got enough room for air about three three feet above it for air to go over the sun comes this way east to west and then these trees in the afternoon give us all the afternoon shade we need on the rest of the roses and the avocados i have against the wall over there got the gym over there that's our next project please like share subscribe let me know if you uh Ever had to make an emergency shade cloth? Had to cancel my golf this morning to do it when I saw the temperature. I didn't pay much attention to it. Big tree loves it when it's hot though. Again, like, share, subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time.